Today we're going to work with a kettlebell. I'm going to start with the first exercise, which is a Jefferson squat. It's basically a squat using your kettlebell. So you're going to bend down, pick them up, and away we go. First of all, make sure that your feet are about hip width apart, or slightly wider, and toes are slightly turned out. The center of your knee will track in alignment with your foot. All right, from the Jefferson squat, we then move into a renegade squat, which is an upright row. The elbows come up high, and now the heart rate does too because you're working not only your legs, your core, but also your upper body. All right, from there, we have a swing. Let's get started with maybe a little lower and then gradually build up. And the more you can squeeze your legs and squeeze your butt, the better it works. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have a little breather. Okay, I'm gonna go now into a windmill. Feet into position, abdominals pulled in, and away I go. Now this gives me a little bit more of a stretch by using the weight. A more advanced option of that would be taking the kettlebell to this hand. Now this takes practice and it takes time. So you could start with a very light kettlebell when you're ready to have a go at it. Sometimes looking up at the bell, I find just gives you that little bit more stability. Take your time building up to that one, but the windmill is a great exercise.